friends, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Burger. With me is my other host, Bert. We are Burton Burger, episode 185. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, approximately 10 weeks late. On the highlight clip, let's give a round of applause to our boy, Bert. Let's go. Yo. He promised, he swore up and down, he pinky promised that it would be out on time. And here we are over two months, two and a half months late now. Yeah. Here we go. New record, new record. Dumb. How does it feel to be a piece of fucking garbage, Bert? Perfect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I yeah. Bet, I bet. Yeah, no, doing, doing good. I mean, uh... For those of you who were sticking around and saw their fucking Twitch last week, we pounded a bit of her out then. Yeah, the only reason why we made any kind of progress on it is because I literally made Bert stream him editing it on Twitch. So we Uh got a big chunk of it done, and now we're not going to touch it for another two months. Correct. My favorite part is is he likes to wait and be incredibly late, so then the next one comes out late as well oh like yeah if it was so done I'm now <laughs> he would have to he would wait like six months before he had to edit again but it has to keep being back to back to back to back so this is just B and B for you uh mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen so forgive me for deciding to work with this piece of garbage <laughs> yes it's all this perspective man it's really all your fault yeah yeah it's my fault that i trusted you all right so here we Mm -hmm. go sounds like the fantasy draft last year more on that later bert and i have some huge news and we're probably not supposed to say this but we're going to anyways bert and i are going to be joining a brand new survivor org together as partners ladies and gentlemen Let's fucking go. A blood versus water season. Yeah. Bert and I are going to go on it together as cousins. Dangerous Bert, duo. What do you think of this? What do you think after just getting out of an org <laughs> yeah. not too long ago? Here I comes think... a new one, but you got me by your side this time. Mm hmm. When, uh, when I was in it, I think if you told previous Bert that we were <laughs> doing a fucking. <laughs> org this soon i would have told you you're fucking crazy but now i think it's uh the different aspect of it kind of being a partnery thing is gonna be pretty sweet we can definitely do a little bit more bnb vibe kind of some fun goofiness Mm -hmm. to it so Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah no absolutely so like we said, it is going to be a blood versus water season. Uh, when they did this in the actual Survivor, uh, how many years ago? I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> but it was in the 30s, I believe, and we're in the 40s right now. Um, I haven't seen it yet. But basically, a former Survivor player came on with their loved one. And um, I, that that was pretty much it. I think they just come on together, and it's up to them if they really want to continue to work together, uh, or I'm pretty sure somebody voted out their fucking mom. <laughs> like, on her parchment, crazy. she wrote, sorry, mom. Oof. <laughs> Oof. So, um, I'm going to make it my mission for the very first vote <laughs> to do everything in my power to get this fucking queer off. That would be so fucking funny. No. That would be so no, 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 no. funny. Into the whole thing. Burger, why did you? Why did you fucking do so bad in the challenge? Because I want Bert off. <laughs> yeah. Get him off. This was a fucking mistake. The guy that you auditioned with, yes, yes, get him you off. You heard me. Your ears are clean. He's an asshole. <laughs> yeah. I don't like him. That would be fucking an awesome. Yeah. I'd just be sitting there absolutely dumbfounded. Yeah. What the hell? Bert's like, so, Burger, who are we voting for? I'm voting for you, buddy. <laughs> just totally transparent. Yeah, you're going <laughs> home. Uh, what are the names you've been hearing? Well, the name that I've been telling is yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you even hear Bert? What the hell? Where'd you hear that from? Uh, me. Me. What the fuck? My conscious? God? <laughs> yeah. He told yeah. me. Everything? Everybody. It's kind of a <laughs> no-brainer. 
Mm-hmm. I told my girlfriend about it. She immediately told me no. That's She's funny. not a fan. She probably Darn. remembers the mental breakdown <laughs> I went on from the last one. I'm like, babe, no, I'm on meds this time. No, it's different. I'm, <laughs> I'm on antipsychotic meds this time, babe. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm with you Bert. Real. He'll keep me safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wouldn't bank on that. You one, wouldn't. But... I... <laughs> yeah. She... Yeah. Bert's going to be too busy fucking doing nothing at work. Oh, yeah. I'm actually doing nothing at work now. It's great. So mm-hmm. it's all perfect time. Yeah. So that starts up in a couple of weeks. We will keep you guys posted about it. It's actually nice because we get to work together and do stuff together. Um, and then talk about it. Where before, when I talked to Bert, he couldn't say anything <laughs> to me. He just had to listen. And when he talked to me, I just had to listen. So uh, now we can actually say stuff to each other and correct each other and make a plan together uh, and things like that. So it should be pretty crazy. It'll be cool. So we'll keep you guys posted. We just got accepted into it not too long ago. So the details are pretty sparse at the moment. Um, But we're going on as co host, we're going on as cousins. Hell yeah. Let's, wouldn't that be cool if there was a final two and me and you both were the <laughs> fucking crazy. final two there? That would actually be crazy. Last time we did an org, um, I got voted out on the jury due to a single vote that counted. Yep. Three idols were played and one vote only counted and it was towards me. And then Bert made it to the, the, to the final tribal council. So I think we got a pretty good record on her hands. Oh, hell yeah. And we don't really have too much strategy uh, besides Bert's going to be more active and I'm going to be less active, so. (laughs) Yep. That's all. Mm -hmm. If we can both find that happy medium there, we should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep you posted. Yeah, should be pretty big. Another big thing that was pretty exciting we talked about this maybe a little bit in the last pod. I don't know. But on stream a week or two ago, I actually pulled some fucking heirloom shards in Apex. <laughs> oh, shit. That's right. Yep. 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 Got it all on video. Bert's going to make a talk on it eventually. I'm going to guess six years from now. But <laughs> um, I pulled some heirloom shards. So just to give everybody uh, a, a quick breakdown on this, uh, Apex Legends is a video game in which you and <laughs> yeah. cool. but Free of your battle royale buddies. game that has these things called heirlooms and it's these things that each character can hold when they are not holding a gun so anytime you holster your gun to run faster they pull out their heirloom shards and they are or not their shards the actual heirlooms they do no extra damage. They have no range on them whatsoever. They are fucking pointless. They are useless. They just look cool. Mm-hmm. And they are incredibly rare. Apparently, your chances of pulling one are one in 500. Oh, that's like, pretty good. As in, like, you basically have to open 500 packs of those Apex Maybe packs get one, yeah. to get one heirloom. And that and takes a while might, to get a pack. It takes a while to get a pack. They're random throughout the game. But on a good week, you might pull like five a week or something, if that. Yeah. So what is that? 52 weeks in a year, five times 50. Yeah, we're talking years. (laughs) Yep. We're talking years. They're very, very rare to pull. And on stream... I pulled them, and you guys can hear my audio reaction to it, um, and there, I, I did record my screen so everyone could see me pull them. Hell yeah. It was incredibly exciting. So, um, each legend has a different heirloom. Lifeline has like these little drumsticks because she's a drummer, um... Gibraltar has like this little hatch thing as Bloodhound does too. Valkyrie has like this cool spear thing. Um, and I had to choose who I wanted because like I said, this is like three times in a lifetime kind of thing that happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And uh, I went with my main, Caustic, Stinky Boy himself. Motherfucker Naturally. has a sludge hammer. Like, I can't get over how fucking cool that is. It's pretty good. And how much it fits this dickweed's personality. Like, he's the a thing tank. With, it's a big old yeah, fucking beaver. Just the big <laughs> sludge hammer that has, like, gas coming out of it. It's funny because me and Caustic probably couldn't yeah. get further from each other, like, mm-hmm. personality wise. Right. The only thing is, is he's like this big badass or asshole on the outside, but on the inside, he is kind of a softy. Mm hmm. That's about all we have in common. Other than that, I'd fucking probably bully Kahasik and take his <laughs> lunch money in high school. <laughs> he's a chubby <laughs> Sue. Yeah, I just, yeah, he's he's a fucking dickhead. Um, <laughs> yep. Whose personality do you think I'm most like in, in Apex? I'll think of one for you, too. Yeah, I, I would say Gibraltar for you because he's homosexual and he's cute. Yeah. He's gay. <laughs> he's gay. Oh shit! I'll take it. He's gay. Yeah, he is. like you. Or I'm pretty <laughs> sure uh, Bloodhounds either a Hermy or a tranny. Got something serious going. It's on. It's something about a something that was something before, but there ain't that something no more. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think Fuse is pansexual. Don't yeah. know what that means. Kind of, it sounds gay though. So I think you do anything. Any holes a goal. <laughs> Got a hole, he'll do ya. <laughs> yeah, that's just bisexual, <laughs> isn't it? Nope, bi is too. Well, bi is no bisexual is you like girls or guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, pansexual is you do anything. Does that include animals then? Like well, what I the fuck is <laughs> pan means for any. Sexuality, I guess the whole LGBTQIA. Pansexual is a romantic, emotional, or sexual attraction to people, regardless of their gender. Yeah, the gender of the person does not matter. People of any gender identity will do. Can. <laughs> Don't really and, hope to say that. Yeah. Any of them will do. Any of them will do. That's literally bisexual. What the fuck? In a in a in a. In a oh, way. I'm attracted to the personality. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's like what is that? Like the politically correct term mm-hmm. of bi? Yeah, that's basically what it is. Yeah. So so bi is like you like men and you like women. Pansexual is you like anybody. It doesn't matter Regardless. the gender. Yeah. What the fuck is the difference? <laughs> It's Unless they're trying just... to say, like, people that don't identify as gay, straight, or bi, and they start getting into the XYZ sexualities. I could see that, yeah. And they're like, I like anybody. Mm-hmm. That's so fucking... Okay. Just say you're bi, bro. <laughs> the hell? Okay. Maybe that's... No, I'm going to say maybe that's why straight and male. I'm giving you gay, straight, or gay, lesbian, and bi, right? We're giving you those ones. Yeah. But now you got to go pan, really? I'm attracted to their personality. Okay, so you're bi then. That's fine. No, no, no. It doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl. Exactly. <laughs> like, that's the point. It don't matter. That is kind of the idea, yeah. Either or. Mm-hmm. I ain't picky. Fuck. I am. I like women. <laughs> Take whatever I can get, honestly. That's fusy. Yeah, there is some men. Well, most men I'm Pause. like like just think they're good looking there are some like i am very attracted to <laughs> like here we go like elvis <laughs> right and that concludes our list and i'm done <laughs> yeah. Yeah. no i don't know i can't think of anybody else off the i think i don't know i guess attraction isn't the right word but i think guys can look really fucking cool or pad yeah. ass like, when i just see fucking hugh jackman just fucking screaming with his arms outstretched like dude he looks pretty badass there. Mm-hmm. I don't pinch my pee-pee to it or nothing, but... Nah. Nah, that's the next stage. Yeah, that's, that's that the point, bird yeah. stage. I don't get to <laughs> that. true. <laughs> Someday. So, yeah. Who would you say, Bert? I don't know. <laughs> that's the thing I could do. Well, mm. I'm, as far as Apex Legends goes. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought we were... <laughs> yeah, we're still on. on that question. That's tough. I'm trying to think for you. 
Yeah. I don't know. I think they're all too freakazoidish to be... Uh... They're very <laughs> extreme. They are. Um, like, very extreme in their personalities. Very. Fuck. I, I'm going to pull up a list of Apex Legends here. <laughs> yes. So I can... And we'll see. You can be Loba. Um, I would happily be Loba. <laughs> yeah, you can be her. <laughs> yeah. Please be um, Loba. Okay. Yeah. Watson, she's autistic. Yep, that might work. Bert's an autism person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. For you, I might... Um, like, I was thinking about this, but maybe Catalyst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's kind of dark emo kind of thing. You're not really dark or emo, but you like that kind of shit. She's also laid back and kind of smart, but kind of uh, like, kind of like has some good quips, but also doesn't. Kind of socially weird. Mm-hmm. A little retarded. Yeah, she lacks like she 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 acts like a really sad like she's like a really sad person that's trying to be happy. <laughs> I see. I know people like that. No, yeah, it's called you. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. that sounds familiar. Bert says. Wait a second, I know this one. But I'm really reaching though on that too. Yeah. You you pretend to be happy in situations when you're not. Oh, big time. I don't. I make it very fucking apparent that I don't want to fucking be there anymore. Mm-hmm. Can we leave? I hate this shit. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you know what? Actually, that might be fair. If it were a guy, Rampart, maybe. Yeah. I could see you being Rami. I'll take Rampart. She's kind of cool. I think she's like one of the most useless legends, so. (laughs) Same. A little bit more butchy. Uh (laughs) Huh? What does that mean? Um. Like lesbian? (laughs) The dominant lesbian. (laughs) She's not butchy at all. What? Her and Mirage are in a relationship or trying to be or something. Hmm. I was also going to say like Mirage, some something. That's where I was going to go with it, Mirage. But Mirage is a little extra. Yeah, he's also a little too innocent. Yeah. Yeah, I'll t- I I I would take Rampart or Mirage. We're a happy mixture. Yeah, I mean Loba, no for you. Watson, no. Too- Loba's a horn dog. Yeah, Mad Maggie, absolutely not. Caustic's no. too grumpy. Ramparts. Well, maybe Horizon. Oh no. Horizon. Horizon. Uh, Jibby. At least I don't know a lot about Horizon, but no, Jibby's all about being there for his friends and shit. You're oh, not true. there that's... for anybody. Oh yeah, that's Jibby. Trust me, 100. I know that Revenant. Maybe you're Revenant. You fucking want to kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't. Yeah, I think the best I can do is Catalyst, man. <laughs> I can't do him no more. I think that's fair. Yeah. There's oh, you might be Fuse, pieces. actually. Your, your Fuse might be pretty good. Well, Just... see, Fuse is like, characters like Fuse are who I've always loved, like characters like Fuse. Like Fuse and Woody Harrelson and Zombieland and Negan and people like that. Like, mm-hmm. they're always like my favorite kind of players. Same. But I feel like I'm not badass enough. Like, I would have the personality to do it, and then I would try to shoot somebody and fucking miss, and then I'd get one shot, and that was Darn. the end of it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was also thinking maybe Seer with you too, but I couldn't draw any conclusions. Yeah, that's a little. Crypt- Crypto's too shy or too away from everybody. You you have dinner with pops too much for you to be crypto. That's true, actually. That's definitely Sue. Uh huh. On his little pewter. Yeah. Chilling. When you're drunk, you're probably more like Vantage. You. Yeah. I agree. Gross. <laughs> but okay. yeah, I got some I got I got some heirloom shards, everybody. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's all I wanted to say. Darn. We're back into the Apex grind. Season seventeen's almost over. Season eighteen, it's right around the corner. Another season so, to shit the fucking bed on. I'm starting to talk to somebody from college again and he's like in Diamond Two or something. Like he's two levels away from Master. Sweaty. 
Yeah, he knows a lot about Apex, so I'm trying to play with him more, but him and I go in some pub lobbies together and just get shit on all the time, so. Oh, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I'm playing against people like him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be scary. Yeah. Not very fun, so. All right. Enough PAX talk. What are you bringing to the table? What's been going on? Bruh. There's so much I want to talk about, but I'll get yelled at for it. <laughs> Fuck, man. <sighs> so I want to talk about Twitter again today. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> did you see I'm what they did? I'm taking my headphones off. <laughs> yeah, they rebranded as a porn yeah. site. Bad news. Why well, got this big X on my phone? Thing. My fucking mom's like, what is this? I thought you were done with this. <laughs> God damn it. I thought, I thought yeah. so too, Ma. Darn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty um, wild. Yeah, I was just uh, editing one of the old highlight clips, and I'm like, I was talking a bunch of shit. I'm like, guys, or whatever. I remember that clip where it's like, guys, um, getting rid of Twitter or Twitter dying would be like porn dying. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Twitter might be dying. <laughs> yeah. Looking at my phone and getting these notifications just with this fucking X is so gay. I always thought Elon Musk was cool, but now I'm kind of starting to think he's a bit of a fag. I don't know. I mean, it's just like, cool, I bought this thing and now I'm going to change it. Like, flip the whole thing on its fucking head. That's what I would like to do. Yeah. It's like, how like, do you That's go? some Bruce Wayne shit right there. Like, I, I don't like how this app's run, so I'm going to just buy it and change it myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting call. So many people, again, are just so fucking pissed. It's almost like it's a challenge to see how many people you can fucking piss off and still make them all use your app. Well, it doesn't make, like, what was the reason? And it's literally, Twitter is literally called X. Yeah. It is oh, sorry. literally called that. X. It's the letter X. It's just X. That is all it is. And Elon's justification is, I just really like it. I just really like the letter X. That's why he did it. It's got to have something to do with Tesla, doesn't it? I don't think so. They're T. (laughs) I know, but I feel like this X is... Well, one of my buddies told me that... What is their... uh, What is their space thing called again? SpaceX, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's what it's got to be off of then. It might be. It might also just be because he's a fucking psycho, but but yee yee yee, I know what you mean. So I think he literally say? he literally just said it's because he likes a letter X. But I mean, it could it could be has something to do with fucking SpaceX. I don't fucking know. I do think it's quite uh, retarded. Oh, that's what uh, my buddies were saying that um he tried doing this to PayPal before. He tried changing mm-hmm. PayPal to X. And then the uh, investors or whatever didn't like it or something, and they didn't do it. So people are thinking that he just took the same fucking thought process, the same logo and everything, and is like, ah, it's like the padding the top of the car meme. It's like this. This is my baby. Well, a quick Google search tells me you're wrong. He oh. didn't call it it because... He liked it. He called it because he wanted to expand it into an everything app, like oh. X being a variable. Oh, that makes a little bit more sense. That's ambitious. Yeah. What do you that mean that makes like more Alan. sense? You were you sounded like you were very sold on why it was called that, and then I do one Google search and tell you one thing, and you're like, ah, yeah, I get it. It was just from what I saw on Twitter. It was him being like, yo, X is fucking, X gets my dick hard. <laughs> And that well, was the yeah, that doesn't like, mean that's, that's like it. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, I would believe your uh, <laughs> your research. Yeah. Was that it? Do you want me to tell you more information about your story that you brought to the, pick. today? No, no. Why would I want you to do that? What the hell? Because um, you're not talking now. I mean, what the fuck? What else you got to say about it? Twitter's now X. Yeah, Twitter's X now. It's just pretty big. It's actually pretty like massive news. I mean. Yeah, so say more about Twitter's, it than if it's so goddamn massive. Twitter's changed. Motherfuckers on your pistol. Yeah, it's literally just fucking X. Everything when you open it up looks the exact same. Yeah, I know. The that's same the colors. shitty thing. Yeah. It's weird. There's just an X on the top instead of the cute bird. 
people. I don't know if he's going to come through here and fuck everything up, but... But yeah, it's a very... So you're saying you would do this. So, okay, so here, <laughs> if you bought Twitter, what would you call it? Women. <laughs> Mrs. Boobies on top of the logo. <laughs> no boobies. Oh. Just women. Women no. are beautiful. Can you imagine? Yeah, that's just the new thing. W-O-M-E-N. <laughs> That'd be oh, nice. you mean. <laughs> just in like a funny like Comic Sans font. That's just oh, the new, man. The new logo. Maybe B and B. Mm. And every time you tap the app, you subscribe. I don't oh know. yeah, whenever you like anybody's post, you subscribe. Yeah. Whenever you post, you can subscribe three times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every that time you hit sad. sub, Bert has to come lick your peen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One free um, head service. Yeah. I don't know, man. Twitter was never that big of a deal when I was in high school, when I was really in college. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's kind of more made more of a resurgence today. I mean, it took a book out of Elvis Presley's career and he had a 1968 comeback special, but in 2023. Damn. Yeah. It was kind of dormant for a while and then came back roaring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't... I don't know. I It's... It's whatever. I'm just saying, like, it's... That's some Bruce Wayne shit, though. It's like that scene in Batman where the two ladies are swimming in the fucking fountain in the middle of a hotel. Mm-hmm. And one of the workers comes up and says, Mr. Wayne, I'm sorry, but the fountain's not a swimming pool. You and your guests are gonna have to leave. And... <laughs> He writes down some money and gives it to him. And he says, well, I just bought this hotel and we're going to make some rule changes around here. <laughs> yeah. Darn. That's such a stupid amount of... That's just a stupid thought. Yeah, that's it's insane. just like, hmm, your rule's gay. I'm buying this hotel now and mm-hmm. there is going to be swimming there now. It's mine. And yeah, you're Watch fired. him write like $20,000 down. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> hey, um, this isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> Puts this another five hundred bucks now. <laughs> yeah. How about this? Check 500? this out. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, twist my arm. Five hundred. Okay, bucks. you got me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's done that before too. I think. Yeah. Bruce Wayne. You can't come in here. You're a minor. Okay. Well, I'm buying this, and now I'm letting minors in. Okay. Well, now we're gonna arrest you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw something like that, like there was a show about Bruce Wayne as like a teenager or something, and he bought some fucking club too. Ah. Uh, yeah. He's, I see. He's kind of an ass. What? Hmm. Well, I bought your wife. <laughs> yeah. What? Here's a bill. <laughs> okay. Whatever. <laughs> Shit, okay. What the hell? There's other fish in the sea. Hey, speaking of rape, um, <laughs> okay. I watched an episode of Game of Thrones I yes, hate that sir. show a lot. That's an amazing show. Wow. That is a terrible, terrible show. It's a good one. Wow. I watched one episode, saw Jason Momoa rape somebody. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, cool. not great. I'm done. <laughs> Me and my lady are no longer watching that show. Yeah. Kid fucking peeked around the corner, saw some people dogging. Guy just pushed him out the window. That's right. Yep, I remember yep. that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, banging who for the was, sake of who banging. Who was up there that. doggy and Bert? They had to be something important to where little kids couldn't see them bang. Yeah, they're brother and sister. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <Yep. laughs> That's disgusting. Yep. It's a silly like, show, huh? Not like stepbrother or anything. No. Right? Oh, man. No. Like, very close. You fucking weirdos. Yeah, I gotta keep the bloodline pure. <laughs> That's why they were doing that? Yep. It looked pretty recreationally. It didn't look like they were... I uh... think it might have been. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, that makes it worse. What a stupid <laughs> fucking show. <laughs> yeah, I saw like... some fucking midget have, like, a six-way. Oh, yeah, that midget gets <laughs> gets work done. 
it that show is so bad. I hate that fucking <laughs> show. And then they had some wedding, and people were just dogging in front of them and cutting each other's throats off. Mm-hmm. Like some guy was like dogging a girl, and then another guy like ripped him off, and then he started dogging her. <laughs> yep. And then he like fucking ripped his intestines out, and I'm like, this show is fucking mid. It's insane. It's literally just like grotesque because it's on HBO. Lol. So, like, because they have the right to like fucking adult so? content or some shit. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? I feel like there was like a big meme that they Watch did out on HBO shit. <laughs> well, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Quit pussyfooting around. There was literally like so much titties in this, mm-hmm. and and like real fucking. Uh huh. Like genuine. I don't think the actors were faking it. Yeah, no, you see. I think straight. that little boy really did. Uh, oh, yeah. See, two that was, brother and sister that and was bang. unscripted. Yeah, that was real. Yeah, bad movie, bad show. <laughs> Hate it. So, you know, this not is not watching like, that ever again. About, it's like me talking about Breaking Bad. It is, I but this, like, oh, this is complete the, the complete opposite, though. I'm talking about how fucking terrible it is. Oh, true, true. Fucking stupid. That is a hot take. I don't like medieval shit. I don't like fucking movies that treat women like shit. And I don't like watching people fuck unless it's porn. <laughs> this is like everything combined into one. Oh, yeah. I never really thought about it. <laughs> It really is. Uh, That's just how fucking desensitized this fucking world is now. Like, mm, yeah, we could just watch Brother and Sister fuck not care about it. Oh, yeah. It's everybody's favorite show. Um. So, yeah. Didn't like it. Wouldn't recommend Game of Thrones. Gay. Mid. Unwatch Wouldn't. it. Yeah. Un- I wish I <laughs> yeah. could. It's like that fucking SpongeBob episode where Mr. Krabs presses the rewind button on some guy's fucking face. And the guy starts unwatching a movie. Oh God! I yeah. want to know what the fucking what kind of trip that fish went on when he was literally <laughs> unwatching something. <laughs> yeah, you'd be fucked. Yeah. Um. Also, talking about some other stuff here, a little bit more um exciting news. Um, I went on another podcast recently, not too long ago. I went back on to. I don't fucking remember their podcast again, damn it. <laughs> the the damn Funny it. Football Podcast. Yeah, Rick and Kyle show, fuck. Is Just like... football, nonstop sp- football. What the fuck is the name of these guys' podcast? I hope they don't listen to us. This would be embarrassing. <laughs> huh. Hang on, I gotta rewatch their intro here to figure out the fuck the name of their goddamn show is. What the fuck? They said, welcome back to another episode of Interview 32. Oh, it's because they have different segments. Oh my God. What is their fucking show called? Only Football, Star 6 Media. Kyle, Rick, I'm giving you guys a fucking word. What the hell is your show called? Why can't it just be Cock and Burger? (laughs) What the hell? Okay. When Link comes out, I'll let you know about it. Anyways, the reason why I'm making a big deal about this is I went on it and that's all. (laughs) <laughs> Hell yeah, best EP. No, but, um, no, um, I, it was the first time I actually wore my mask on screen, on camera. Oh, that's right, you didn't have it for the first one, shit. Not for I'm who's dumb. right, no, for who's right, I just wore a ski mask, but, um, <laughs> um, for this one, I got my Boy With You Max on, and then I got my, I got a burger ball cap hat on, it's like, literally, a baseball hat. With a burger on it. Yeah. So I got to show my face. Not my face, but the actual mask for mm-hmm. the first time. And I realized I need to fucking fix this setup because that was incredibly fucking uncomfortable. My neck hurt. Yeah. And it was un... Fuck, it was gay. <laughs> I was just kept looking around and <laughs> shit like that. And was trying to stretch my neck out and crack it and everything like that. Oh, it just wasn't I working. I think it's because the mask has such little baby eye holes that I have to like turn my head down like I gotta tuck my chin down into my chest to uh, see the screen so if I like raised my laptop up maybe that'd be a little bit better so I don't have to have a kink in my neck yeah. the entire time cause it was it was, it was pretty fucking painful dude <laughs> I was getting ready to turn the camera off so I could take the mask off and just fucking stretch <laughs> yeah <laughs> half time break yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how a boy with cock does it. I know. I, mean, I was going to make a bad He does joke, entire but... concerts and shit and dances with his on. Yeah, it's, it's fucking I can't even crazy. fucking sit here and finger my hole to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you said your neckers. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, no. Holy but we t- I went on there, talked with Kyle. I love Rick and Kyle. Um, mm-hmm. Their fucking show name might be gay, but I love those guys <laughs> and really would like to go back on there again soon. They they asked if the other guy's coming. I'm like, absolutely not. Fuck no. He's <laughs> Nope, he's not invited. Yeah, you don't I actually kicked him off the show. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, but we talked about Madden ratings on there, and uh, we talked about certain people that were underrated or overrated, and we just sat and talked about them for a while, and then did some quick speed running at the end to people that we could we didn't get to, like we didn't draw their names because I literally cut out the top five players from each position that I had, and then put it in the cup and then drew out of a cup oh and we talked about if that player is overrated underrated or properly rated and we couldn't get to everybody so we just rapid fired at the end about some names that we still wanted to talk about we were on agreement for most of it i was gonna Um, say uh, you guys weren't on the same page for some players for some things yeah and the same thing still came up a little bit but we didn't fucking uh get into it as much like we did last time maybe because his Bert wasn't there and neither was mine mm-hmm. so we we didn't get pissed off immediately when someone disagreed with us like I do with you right so um since like we're like hey okay we can be two gentlemen and not agree on the same point that's fine of course so but we will keep you posted at least check out the episode let me and that guys know if I looked cool if I looked like an idiot I looked uncomfortable, even if you couldn't see my face. <laughs> Just scratching the neck the entire time. Yeah, watch me like Fuck. take the mask off and scratch my nose and put the mask <laughs> Don't back even on. Notice it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be so funny. Just Holy take the shit. mask off, rub my fucking face off with a towel, fucking take a deep <laughs> breath, and then put it back on. Yes. <laughs> we had like some fucking joke we tried to make that was like that. Yeah, you don't even know mm-hmm. who the Mm-hmm. That's so good. Yeah. No, I uh I uh and I I couldn't figure out how to make a cool logo on it, so it literally just says burger on it. Yeah. Literally just typed out burger on my mask <laughs> cuz it's like a little digital mask. Gets the job done. People won't forget yeah, who you so are. It just at least. Burger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and burger. All right. Boy, ten, boy, yeah. Okay, go ahead talk about the stupid UFC fight. I don't fucking care. Yeah, so this time um there was a big, there was a big one yesterday. Yep, every one of them's a big Pretty one. Pretty hype. This one was like yeah, I only watched the big ones cuz I'm a fucking fake fan, but uh Yep. <laughs> but this one was pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. cool. Uh no, this one specifically, I was You like, want to do the draft now? <laughs> close, close, close. Wait, wait, wait. There's one main part of this that's silly, but <sighs> no, I wasn't a huge DJ <laughs> this time, and I actually paid for it. And That's stupid. Uh, that was so stupid. You're alone by yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, something that I figured out that's really fucking cool. You can watch like the first. There's like I think there's like 18 fights maybe in a night. The first six fights are early prelims. Then there's prelims. Then there's a main card. You can watch the first six fights. How many fights? There's like 18, I think. What Maybe the fuck? I thought there like was that. like four. I don't know. There's a lot. We never really watched the early prelims. Like it started yesterday at five o'clock and it ended at, uh, I think it was like 12 or 1230. Yeah. I thought that was typical. So it's seven hours. I mean, a fight's only mm-hmm. like 15 minutes if they go the distance, but. Okay. The math still doesn't check out. Right. Whatever. So what the fuck does that have to do? Okay. I'm what I'm saying is the first six fights you can watch mm-hmm. with a TV subscription. I went on there to to watch it, and after I bought it, it says you have access to the main card. I'm like, if I have to pay for the fucking other stuff Each separately fight individually, yeah, because it was like fucking it was like eighty bucks for the main card, which I'm already like, okay, this is a little fucking, this is a little much. <laughs> but, so yeah, come to find out, um, you can watch the first six fights for. Just by plugging in your TV provider. 
So like you can put in fucking whatever your thing is. Mm-hmm. And if you have ESPN Plus, you can watch the next six fights. And then you actually pay $80 for the last like four or five or five or six fights. Like when I was rationalizing, oh, 80 bucks. I mean, yeah, it's really expensive. But you're getting seven hours yeah, of content. Yeah, you make bank. Shut the Dude, fuck up, you cheap bastard. I know, I know. But it's stupid still. When you sit there the end of the day. It ain't my like money. My it's fucking bank's money. <laughs> but Brian So whatever. A river. That was cringe. That was extremely fucking cringe. But one of the final fucking fights that like totally was worth the whole thing. <laughs> There's some big bastard. I kind of want to look up. His but they had a, size. They had a heavyweight. Like a heavy. This guy's. So this guy's 6'3", 264. He's a big Not boy. Not impressed. <laughs> and, um, Not really. No, I mean, he looks fucking big. But I don't know. <laughs> he, um... Yesterday. Somebody, uh, people will always say that, like, yeah, this massive dude, six he looks fucking fifty. Huge. I'm like, fuck, well, I weighed like two sixty, so yeah, like I'm not extremely far from that. Yeah, but it's that's like what this I'm guy, saying. Yeah, this guy, I was, like, I weighed more than him. Yeah, I think it's because like you're used to seeing everybody else, and everybody else in the UFC is like our cousin. They're like fucking <laughs> one ten, five no, foot. I think nothing. it's because he's like two fifty of pure fucking muscle and mine's but he's like not. He's got 1% a little on muscle. Well, he has a six Oh, uh, that though. doesn't mean anything. What he's the two, fuck? Have you seen fucking Eddie Strongman pack. Lacey? He's fucking got a belly on him and the motherfucker dead well, you're saying fucking muscle and all that. I'm saying like, it's not all muscle. That's what I'm saying. He's okay, Bert. I didn't mean he was 100% well, no, muscle, you asshole. No, I know. I know. I'm just saying there's fuck. a difference, but. That's what I'm saying. He's fucking huge. He's yeah. not just some fat fucking lard up there where I was. <laughs> yeah. I guess these guys don't look that bad when you really look at them. I'm like, yeah, no, that's... That's what I'm saying. That looks similar, yeah. I don't know. Yesterday, he looked like a fucking machine. I would have guessed, like, fucking 310, maybe. It's probably because he's fucking 6'3", too. 6'3", isn't huge. No. 6'3 is tall, but it's not fucking huge. What do you mean? Yeah, he's 6'3", and... Uh, yeah. It's not like he was 6'9". It's pro- It's gotta be. I think everybody in the UFC is like fucking 5'2". Well, the only people I know from the UFC are fucking huge motherfuckers. I don't really, really? see anybody There's that's, no way. for the most part, that is as big as our cousin. Yeah. Most of them are tiny little Brazilian dudes, but... But anyway, uh, this cocksucker... Do I get to know his name, or are you going to just keep calling him this cocksucker? <laughs> oh, shit. It's Derek Lewis. Does he have a name? Is he a person? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, his name's Derek Lewis. And supposedly he has the most KOs in uh, UFC history. I don't care. And uh, he needs... He... I, every time <laughs> I watch like... a UFC fight, it's like, this guy has the most wins in UFC history. This guy has the most KOs in fucking I know, I feel UK. like I've heard this that like that, six this times. And that, this like, and that. wow. This I think it's because it's like that... NFL and it's like of the in the heavyweight division or something like that, like some little um, asterisk at the end where it's like, this guy's the most KOs in the second half of May 2013. Yeah, like, in May. <laughs> yeah. yeah, random ass fucking stupid ass stats. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Um, but no, he like fucking opened the fight and he literally need this other guy in the fucking head and knocked him out. Yeah, I saw that clip. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. And they were like saying all the shit. They're like, man, you know, you see that from fucking other guys. And it's it's like cool because whatever, it's like some athletic. It'd be like our cousin doing it. You're like, okay, cool. But then if one of us fucking did that, like doing like some fucking flying knee kick. <laughs> <laughs> knocking some motherfucker out like that it was like holy shit what is that you didn't hear that Watching did porn. you no if you are a granola girly you're gonna want to watch this video <laughs> okay sorry i was on instagram i was trying to see if i was already following this guy might be might be yeah yeah but um <laughs> I'm following some big fucking UFC player that posts memes the entire time. Dude, you know and who this I'm guy's talking about I don't I, this is the only big guy I know when I just met him last night. <laughs> this is the only big UFC guy you know? Physically large, yeah. 
That's like wrong. heavyweight. I don't. That Jones guy. I don't know if he's a heavyweight. Fuck, is he a heavyweight? Is it Chandler Jones? Chandler Jones's brother. Oh, this guy. Oh, yep, he's definitely a heavyweight. All right. What the fuck do you mean? Is he a heavyweight? Yeah, this is the guy that. Oh my god. Him, this guy. You were literally fucking talking so much shit about him being this biggest heavyweight guy ever. And you're like, mm, I don't know if he's this heavyweight. This guy's spooky. Yeah. I know. I was thinking back. They were talking about him yesterday, and they were saying some stuff. I'm like, what? Yeah, so uh, I'm starting to see a lot of like repeat people, too, and I'm like, all right. So I finally have my uh, my Derrick Henry of the UFC world that I'm kind of, <laughs> every time I see this motherfucker, I'm like, yup, yup, here we go. Kevin Holland. I love this guy. Oh, is this guy's name Derek Lewis? Uh-huh. Yeah. No, this is the guy that I'm following, I believe, already. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he, uh, he posts the memes on Instagram. Why the <laughs> fuck did you not tell me it was him? I don't know. I'm like, I'm following some UFC guy that posts a shit ton of memes, and you're like, Oh, yeah. he has shit right here on UFC. No, after the fight, Joe Rogan's like, Derek, did you plan on throwing that high knee? He's like, hell no, I didn't plan on that shit. He's like, I'm just throwing shit at the wall, seeing if it flies. He's like, well, he I'm talked sure about that, today. like where he was like, like he wanted to end a fight because his balls were too sweaty and yes, shit. Like he that. took his fucking shorts off. He's like, okay, yeah. if you didn't plan on throwing that high knee, did you plan on taking your shorts off after? He took his fucking shorts off. He's he talked about wanting to smoke hanging. fucking weed on. Um, <laughs> he's like, Joe, have me come on, I'll smoke some weed with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, he said. He said. He's standing up adjusting his balls. I'm like, all I can see is my cousin Burger right now. This is the kind of thing he'd fucking do when he's standing up in the middle of a you yeah. know, cousin night or whatever. He's like, yeah, do you plan on taking your shorts off or whatever? He's like, he's like, no, nah, my balls are just fucking. I said to adjust my balls, my dickhead has a mind of its own. Like, Jesus Christ. Middle of the yeah. octagon with Joe Rogan. And that's the funny thing, too, is like, me and him think the same way. It's like, I'm not even trying to be naughty. Like, my balls are genuinely on fire <laughs> right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't give a shit. Like, fuck, it's that hot. That's awesome. Like, fuck. Yep, this is... This guy is awesome. Yeah, this guy used to post so much on Instagram. I don't even think he has an account anymore. He might have gotten banned or something. Damn. <laughs> but he would say... Like, he would post memes. And it would literally be people, like, literally look like they die oh it's right here <laughs> oh shit i need to see it it's um who who is this guy the beast ufc is oh, that Derek his... lewis yeah his nickname's the black beast yeah why couldn't when i looked up um Derek lewis nothing came up but when i yeah he's right here the beast ufc he posts things of people literally looking like they died like their <laughs> oh, spine sh- breaks and he'll say things like he's okay Okay. <laughs> he posts so many memes. Like, here's his third one. He says, it's okay. <laughs> okay, I need to see one of these. Yeah, look up the Beast UFC. This guy has some crazy posts. All he says is, like, I'm okay. They're okay. What the fuck? We're okay. Let me see. He just posts memes. This is the guy. He's awesome. He's okay. And then here's a guy driving his dirt bike <laughs> and a car pulls out in front of him and he hits the car and flies fucking like a hundred <laughs> feet into a semi truck. Damn it. And all he types is he's okay. <laughs> huh? Holy and this guy sh- just fucking beat the shit out of somebody. You said yeah, he fucking need the cocksucker in the fucking jaw. He hit him oh, right perfectly. Oh, here's a fucking Rottweiler puking, not out. watching that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would would recommend. Yeah, this is how I know him. That's and I'm so like, yeah, awesome. this used to be this guy that would say this shit, guy. and then it turns out it's the same fucking guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy's dead. Okay. All right. Yeah, th- yeah this is what Bert does. <laughs> yeah, Bert's really fucking good at this. He's just going to sit and laugh at shit that we can't see. And he doesn't even... He he, do- he won't say anything about it. He'll just sit there and laugh. And while he's oh. laughing, he goes on to the next one. <laughs> see, he's continuing to do it right now. He won't... Fu- he'll make, oh, that guy's dead. Goes on to the next one. Wow, that's a cute squirrel. Holy shit, she's dead. Okay, I hope she's okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can save some of these. This might be illegal. All right, fuck it. And continuing on. Yeah, so... Uh, so, yeah, UFC's mid. 
Yeah, yeah. So I finally had a good um, thing. I bet again, and I got absolutely, I got my fucking ass licked again. So Yeah, you've never told me one time you've won yet. Nope. I won literally everything all the way up to the very last leg of the parlay thingy, and I fucking lost. I'm like, Doo! I'm the one everybody thought I was going to win. And then a motherfucker got kicked in the head and went to seep. Oh, he was the underdog? Oh, the, no, that this guy? Oh, no, this guy was fucking, <laughs> nope, he was uh, overdog or whatever. So you fucking betted it against oh, him? No, I didn't bet on this motherfucker at all. I'm like, I don't know Derek Lewis. Who the fuck is this cocksucker? We've talked about him before. I'm sure know, we have. He's a big yeah. guy. Like, I kind of knew the name, but not, like, I haven't watched him fight. I've watched all the other people I bet on fight, so I'm like. I haven't watched him fuck. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen him fuck. <laughs> Trust, me. <laughs> Trust me. That's how I knew him. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I'm not huh? interested in UFC if my cuz not over. Yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty cool, though. Pretty cool, though. Well. And then the last big news I would like to tell all of you lovely people is I, Burger, will be getting a dog in about yeah. a month or so. So exciting. Me and a lady are going to be adopting a pup, and uh, we will keep you guys in the loop on that. It's about a month out. Bert's family's also getting one, too, from the same family, but Bert's not really going to be home a lot yeah. to be around it, so dog's going to fucking bite Bert when he sees him. Oh, yeah. He's, he's like, who the fuck me. is this woman in my house? <laughs> Let's kill it. Wait, that sounds weird. Um, yeah, it's going to eat me. So there you go. Uh, we're getting a little miniature dash hound. Daddy's had so many dash hounds in our family, and we're continuing the trend. Hell, yeah. We'll have to show y'all some pics of him. They're fucking mad cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah, Bert's family's getting the exact same dog that they already have, except it has a little <laughs> white on it and has a dong, so thanks. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend really wanted the blonde one, but uh, cool, you guys get two of them now. <laughs> Rich get richer, that's for sure. <laughs> And then your dad goes, I guess I kind of like the blonde one the most. And your mom's like, see, oh, tool, dad tool. wants the blonde one. Dad wants the blonde one. See, we've got to get it because dad said it. Uh-huh. I think my That's dad just wanted it because it was cheaper. <laughs> no, that, yeah. I just, I, he, whatever it was, it wasn't, I, I know your dad. He wasn't like, up. he probably didn't want the fucking dog to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then um, <laughs> my mom does the same exact shit, like tries to bring my dad into it all the goddamn time too. Mm-hmm. And half the fucking time, my dad's like, when did we talk about this? It sounds like me. We yeah. never talk about this. <laughs> yeah. When did yeah, I Yeah, seriously. That? Yeah, so. Yeah, rich get richer. My girlfriend really wanted a female and wanted a blonde, and we didn't get a female and we didn't get a blonde, so Darn. all because you guys had to get the exact same dog. <laughs> had to be cool. greedy. God damn. Yeah, literally had to be fucking greedy, giving it a gay name, too. Yeah. Fucking queer. Yeah, a couple letters I just, off. Yeah, pretty damn close. So, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, me and the lady are still looking for names uh, for the doggy. But I think right now we're gonna we're uh, Ozzy is the uh, front runner for a little doggy. It's pretty good. That's yeah, O Z Z I E. I like that. Ozzy, yeah. Well, Bert likes it, so it means it's gay. Yeah. Oh, you're damn. like, hey, um, uh, Bert we're gonna it. have to change right, it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's Sorry, the Bert likes it. I ain't gonna have no gay dog. Darn. <laughs> yeah. yep. My dog ain't gonna be gay. No. Nah. Someone at my work go, because I was showing them pictures, and they're like, is it a boy or girl? Oh, wait, sorry, that doesn't matter. Cool. I'm like, it, it has sure does. Cock. Yeah. Why doesn't it matter if it's a boy or girl dog? I feel like that's pretty vital. Yep. It's not what are we, different are we, issues we gonna, both of them have. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, you got to do different things. And different it, shit, it, yeah, issues. <laughs> Real fucking, yeah. Yeah, like one has to get spayed, the other one needs to get fucking neutered. So, I mean, it's just like, cool. Yeah, yeah, it matters. It's a, it's like, a, you can have a dog and not know if it's a male or female. And they're like, mm, it doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl. Yes, it fucking does. Stop. Yeah. Okay, don't bring your fucking training to fucking my... dogs, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She I was mean, literally like she felt like offended. Like she like she she felt like so sorry she asked me that. She's like, if it's a boy or girl, oh, sorry, that that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's a boy. 
<laughs> You're like, no, no, it, it matters. It's a boy. Yep. It matters. It's it's a boy. Okay. Just... The dog's not going to... I'm not going to let the dog decide what it wants to be. <laughs> yeah. The dog doesn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. He just wants food and mm. to sleep inside, probably. Yeah. Yeah. He just... Yeah. yeah. Simple boy. Cool. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Should be getting him in about a month or so. I think we can go and visit him soon. So Yeah, when you were first talking about it, I didn't even, like, fucking realize it was going to be yours. I'm just like, yeah. cool, it's like, cool, they got another one that looks the exact same as the other one they just got, like, a year or two ago. <laughs> like, cool, 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 yeah, cool. Yeah, the, the issue is, though, it doesn't look like any, th- any dog we've ever had. I think it's your grandma's dog is like that, but long hair, right? Wow. I don't know if you could be more incorrect about what my grandma's dog looks like. Well, my grandma's dog is literally all black with brown on it, just like the first one we had was. Yeah, that's what this one looks like. This one is brown and gray and like tan. Oh, that's right. You sent me a bad picture. I forgot. No, I didn't. I sent you the same picture that I sent to everybody else that saw the exact same color. Oh, and they saw the gray and the tan and the belly. You didn't Not the ch- belly. <laughs> you said it was... Bert, look boy. at the fucking dog. It's got spots on it, you idiot. Who cares what its fucking belly looks like? I never like? saw You can look spots. at its back legs. How do you there not see There weren't back legs spots? either. Fucking... I sent you the same two pictures and <laughs> I video know. that I've sent to everybody. I didn't see the video either. Holy fuck. Okay, then you were at work and didn't watch it because I sent this to you. Do it. You were like... It's brown with less brown. Oh, yeah, that's brown with less brown. Oh, I guess when you click on it, it's a little bit different. I thought that was like when the carpet's wet. Um, It kind of looks different. Yeah, I showed this picture to many, many, many people, and nobody had ever seen it. Oh, I didn't think that was Yeah, your dog looks like carpet when it's wet. Oh, boy. Yeah, Yeah. so my grandma's dog is literally all black. Yeah, I thought this one was like all brown. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's kind of, um, or like, you know, on a carpet, when you like, when you put your hand one way, it looks darker than any other way. You literally need to touch fucking grass. Yeah, that's what I thought this was on its back. Yeah, this looks like one of those really fucked up, like, shit flavored jelly beans. It kind of has, like, those weird speckles and stuff in it. So, Bert's going to continue to insult my new dog that (laughs) I got, and everybody else, you guys will like it. So, Bert says it looks like wet carpet and a (laughs) fucked up jelly bean. So, um,. He's I my appreciate favorite. It. I like him more than my dog. His face. Yeah, is yeah. Well, tell your fucking mom that as they get <laughs> the straight. exact same fucking dog. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I wanted a dark one. She's like, nah. yeah. There's plenty of them too, and they're cheaper. Yeah. There was literally one that was hundreds of dollars cheaper, and your mom fucking chose the exact same dog and blamed <laughs> it on your dad wanting it. Yeah, he's kind of chubby too. He's cute. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, he looks. Yeah, you. We're very incorrect on many different things and what this fucking dog looks like. Yeah, it was definitely me being at work and literally just like glancing at it and looking away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says I guess it's he's brown with more. less brown, not even close. That's like a Dalmatian like, that's all white with some really dark white. <laughs> yeah, I think I was mainly looking like at its face or something. And then the back, I'm like, yeah, it's just wet carpet lol. <laughs> it does have that funny thing though. That's weird. It almost looks like he has a fucking, uh, what's it called? Like a quarter, no, an eighth note on its back. It has the two little things and the bar across the top and the other one. The black part. Bert will probably put pics up so you guys can see it too. So you I'll save can, these uh, mofkers. Um, my girlfriend fucking looks at it and she's telling me all of these details that the dog has and I just never even noticed it. She's like, oh, his, his face is like perfectly split down the middle. Yeah. And he's got, like, little brown eyebrows, and I'm like, yeah, I don't see any of that. And then she showed me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I see it. Like, that's literally the guy in me. <laughs> yeah. My sister was around me and my brother, and she says, do you guys like my haircut? Me and my brother had no fucking idea that she did her hair. <laughs> N- none. She's like, you guys are assholes. <laughs> that's awesome. Terrible at picking that shit out, yeah. Yeah. It's just like with Penny. Like, people would be like, oh, she has such cute spots on her nose. Fucking grab her face, look at her nose. I'm like, shit. She <laughs> have spots. Damn, I never like she has like, this big spot on her belly. We fucking picked her up, looked at her belly. Hmm. <laughs> My girlfriend and I found out that uh, Penny's eighteen pounds. Damn. 
Penny got some girth on her, just like her daddy. <laughs> she do. She, she do. do. She do. What does Penny think of the dog? Don't care. <laughs> it's not really her job. I'm letting Penny out. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I think Penny Don't like the dog leave. <laughs> Penny's pretty chill. Yeah, Penny you can think? be a fucking bitch, though. <laughs> she... I think it took probably yeah. about three years for her to even, like, come to <laughs> my side of the fucking Yeah, and you're going to ask if she's a bitch or not. Yeah, I think I just, I don't know. She's ornery. I don't remember her being aggressive or nothing, but. I didn't say she was aggressive. I said yeah. she was a bitch. Yeah. I think I call my dog a bitch and she's aggressive. Your dog's a fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. She's evil. Fucker bites, hates everybody. Doesn't shut the fuck up. Looks like it's two seconds away from dying. <laughs> She's a little anorexic. It's anorexic. Looking. It's fucking a greyhound dash hound mix. Yeah. Ugly fucking thing. <laughs> yep. Sway she and knows. I found out that our puppies are not going to be related. Oh, so they're not. Good. Wow. The fuck away. Damn. We don't share no bloodline. They ain't Fuck like that, that Game of Thrones couple in the castle. There we go. That's good. No fucking kids had to be pushed out of a window for our dog's breed. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yep. So we'll keep you up uh, updated with everything. So far, Ozzy's the front runner. And uh, we'll go forward from there. Hell yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap up On this episode with... Another B and B draft, one of our favorite times of the entire show. Mm. It's getting to the point to where we are literally telling people what the or telling each other what the draft <laughs> criteria is about thirty seconds before we start recording. So <laughs> thanks for for that. Yeah, I forgot about and it. And Bird answers time. it right away. What are we doing, cryptids? What are we doing? Today's thing. It's like, huh? It sounds like you had an idea for a no, long time. No, I never and didn't <laughs> tell me. Dude, I was literally just racking my brain these last few weeks. I don't know what it is, but I kind of been I've been sharp, just a yeah. little bit. Cool. Could have told me that a little bit um, earlier, but that's fine <laughs> because we're doing well. Actually, Bert, you can introduce it because we got to say it in a special way for the TikToks that Bert won't edit. Yeah, baby. So this for this week's draft, we're gonna be doing a team. Wrong. Not really a team. Yeah, we're just drafting. Yeah. We're, we're literally drafting board games. Like, I don't yeah. know what the fuck, what, <laughs> what, why you have to make it into this big thing. For this this week, we're drafting board games. Bert, you go first. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the hell? Okay. Uh, one more this week, we're going to be drafting a team of board games. Burker's going to go ahead and choose some, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose some. And then you guys have to go and let us know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> and we're doing board games. Go. <laughs> that actually might be good yes yeah, so for this week's bb draft we're gonna be doing board games we'll be choosing all right bert our top six you got the one one who are you going with with the first overall pick um after doing my research there's a lot of really gay ones uh but i'm gonna there's do a one... lot of goaded ones too yeah i'm gonna do one that's extremely popular and also uh, you know, like I'll take it because it's not like really like the gay one. Even though uh, you're probably just gonna snag uh, some gay ones, but I with first, yeah, fuck it. For the first overall, I'm gonna take Monopoly. Monopoly, not a bad one. Yep, not a bad one at all. Mm-hmm. Okay, nothing to say about the first overall pick in a draft. Cool, Bert. Monopoly. Um, for... and I'm so used to editing them. I'm like, yo, just fucking say and be done. <laughs> No. Yeah, because we're just only going to be thinking about the Hell TikToks yeah. and not the people that are listening to the podcast. Okay, so but the one one bird picks Monopoly. Nothing else to say about it. I'll go first. Hell yeah, Monopoly. Or I'll go next. Monopoly uh, on the lists that I've seen is pretty high and is also fucking classic. Ask anybody about any sort of board game; everybody knows about it. Nobody wants to fucking play it. But yeah, a lot of people don't like it. Yeah, that's everybody for sure. hates it. It's great. Yeah, so I'm going to pick one that everyone loves, which is Uno. That's a one-two for I, me. That's definitely a first rounder. I know. I thought that one was gonna be super easy, especially because uh, our people like it a lot. So, mm-hmm. yeah, Uno Solid. is a uh, is a big one. I love Uno. I I play Uno a lot. I'm pretty good at it. I just hate it when fucking chat memes about it. Uh, it's not funny. Then uh, it's not <laughs> right. silly. 
It's no longer entertaining. Fucking stop. It's fucking no, dumb and cringe. I don't give a shit. You can keep suggesting shit and we'll just continue to ignore you. But <laughs> yes. um, only because Uno's pretty gay on the Xbox. It's not that fun. It's pretty generic <laughs> and not exciting. And right. also those kind of games aren't that fun to play on Xbox. Like we try to do Monopoly, and it's just not, it's just very weird just to press A the entire time. It's just a press A generator. Yeah, yeah, that's basically all it is, and then it's just random shit. It's like, cool. Yeah. Press A, and then yes or no. My decisions don't mean anything. Yeah. Cool. cool. So I'll take Uno. Um, the next one I'm gonna choose coming into the second round. I'm going to go one that's near and dear to me, and uh, I'm going to pick Checkers. Yep, there was one of the gay ones I didn't want to touch, but I'm glad you took one off. There we go. That That is a classic, and uh, everybody knows how to play Checkers, and I have a lot of good memories of this uh, with my dad growing up and other people in my family, and uh, it's an old-time one, too. It's one that's uh, been around for a long time. So we go to the modern popular one and uh, the popular one back in the day with Checkers as my first two draft picks. You go ahead, Bert. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so since we have breached the gay wall, I am going to take chess as my number two. Do you know Checkers was made in 3000 BC? <laughs> that's pretty good. Huh. 3000 BC, huh? Mm. Wow. Okay. Chess. See, I was going to choose chess, but uh, I just, I didn't really play it that much growing up, so. Yeah. I remember liking it when I, my buddies all sat down and we taught each other how to play Holy shit. Chess was made in the 6th century. Checkers is old as shit. (laughs) Wow. Wow. I thought fucking Checkers was made in like the 1800s, like fucking John Marston and Arthur Morgan were playing it together. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Sorry to make uh, that pick about uh, checkers, but yeah, chess, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chess. To the nerds out there that play it. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. It's uh, another solid classic. Not going to compare it to yours because, uh, well, I guess you could say it's really a more sophisticated checkers. Uh, yes, for the nerds. It no, is it, it is, and chess is fun. It's just checkers it is, is like better. Checkers for... is pretty fucking basic. Everybody can play checkers. Mm-hmm. Chess, on the other hand, definitely requires some uh, some brain cells. It does, yeah. Oh man, ooh, I think we gotta take it early. Wow, am I really doing the shit this early? Fuck yeah, I think that's a decent second rounder. So for my third... No, we're in the third round now. Oh, shit. This would be top of the third, wouldn't it? Yeah, top of the third. Damn. Okay, so for my third pick, I'm going to choose... Oh, this is so fucking hard, dude. I want to do Mancala. Oh, wow. I don't think you played that one that much. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, you reached on that one, that's for sure. I thought so, but I think it's pretty... uh... So to the six people out there that know how to play Mancala, you want to explain? It's the 17th most popular board game. 17th, huh? Yeah. Okay. A lot of the ones in between are all like mad cringe, so. Yeah, I'm going to keep taking like the top five, but yeah, if you want to do top 17, (laughs) that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, That's a fun one. That's one that I've actually played. Of all these other ones, I'm like, yeah. You haven't played Monopoly and you haven't played chess? Of all the other ones that I've seen in between, yeah. I guess there's some other ones that I have on my list that are above it, but... Okay. Yeah. Bert chooses me and Kyle. A fun game. Mm-hmm. Third rounder. Um, I don't think so. It's another 1400 because, BC, maybe a classic. Uh, I think it's a lot uh, earlier than that. I think Mancala is like... It's literally stones. One of the oldest fucking <laughs> yeah. games of all fucking time. rocks and circles. Mancala is literally some holes in the ground and some rocks. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. Uh-huh. Uh, but it has nothing to my third rounder, which is Cards Against Humanity, okay. the game that all young adults love, and kids alike probably, and adults. It is a silly game. It is a knee slapper. I would rather play Cards Against Humanity any day over fucking Mancala. So <laughs> darn glad you got Mancala there, Bert. I know. Good job. <laughs> 
So then, um, I got to start writing these down because I fucking hate forgetting. Mm-hmm. Wow, I have my whole list and I check off the ones on my list that you've already said. Wow. Fucking oh, I already selling. Know I, don't help. I got my memory. Mid gamer. I don't. Went to a Mexican restaurant today and the waiter was taking our order with his hands behind his back, just memorizing everything. And I'm That's like, Chad. Okay. Like, I trust you, dude, but, like, can you at least, like, just scribble shit down? You pretend, yeah. Can you fucking... Makes me feel better. <laughs> draw Peter or something on your notepad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> draw a winky. Yes. Um. Uh, okay. Starting off with the fourth rounder, we'll go with Connect 4. 4-4, four, four, baby. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's a fun one as well. That's another simple one. That's got some strategy to it. It looks cool as well. Played that a lot on the iPhone as well. Mm-hmm. Fucking wreck my grandma and Connect Four all the goddamn time. Of course, of course. So yeah, we'll go with Connect Four. Hell yeah. For my fourth pick, I'm going to take Scrabble. Yeah, I could have wrote that down, but I didn't really like that one too much. Yeah, yeah, that one is um, that one's pretty fun. Classic words. I suck fucking dick at it, but uh, but it's always fun. I always think I'm a badass, and I fucking write all these points down or whatever, and then I, like, you know, get absolutely fucking, get my fucking balls crushed, so. Mm-hmm. Typical. But, yep, that's the same with most of these board games, so. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. not really a fair metric. But. True. True, 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 true. Yep. Oh, shit. This one, man, there's one of them that I w- I'm going to have on my list, but it's not, like, anywhere ever. So, but that's beside the point. I am going to do, for my fifth, I'm going to do Life. Game of Life. Yep. Didn't write that down either. Damn. I don't know if I really played Life. I yeah. might have when I was younger, but I don't really remember it. That was another one of those games like Monopoly where I played a lot of like the beginnings of the games, but I never mm-hmm. really got that far in because uh, I don't know. I really only played board games when I was a kid, and kids have fucking short attention spans, and so that shit just doesn't get fucking finished in time, so I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Life. Okay. Most solid one. So to round out the fifth round, I'm going to go the one where we think we were going to be getting uh, a little action with and it would uh, get a little crazy, but it ended up being just a massive fucking uncomfortable workout. I'm choosing Twister. Yeah. Wind that map out, spin that fucking top thingy, and watch how daddy... Can touch his toes. Wiggles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'd always play it at these parties and shit like that. You're like, oh, I'm going to get into some naughty positions with these girls. And then I end up with Tater's fucking butthole on my nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Exactly. Never fucking work that way. God damn but it. Twisters is, is a, is a fun one. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it up. With another classic here that I, I want to go a different direction, but uh, I'm going to go with one that I just, that, that makes me smile is Jenga. Yep, I thought that was a really good one. Jenga Tower, stacking little blocks, the tension, the nerviness, the oh shit, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll take Jenga. Finishing up the sixth round. Wow. Or with your pick right here, Bert, you got one left. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones on the board still. This would have been really gay if we only did four. Yeah. Like I originally thought. So Fucking this... took me on Kala, third round. <laughs> yeah. So this one, I... A few times I've played it, I've absolutely fucking loved it, and I just haven't really found people to play with it yet. But uh, I'm gonna do Settlers of Catan for my sixth round. Yeah, never really played that one. You chose fucking three games that I didn't even have on my list, and I think three um, years I haven't played. Yeah, I didn't have Connect Four, or yeah, I did have Connect Four. I didn't have your fucking other Guardians Against Humanity or Twister, so just two L. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a quick little hitter. Catan is like another fucking. It's basically like a I think strategy. Most of, yeah, literally RTS. just about every fucking one of your games take like eight years to complete. I know. I like all these Monopoly, games. Monopoly, like, Settlers of Catan. Is it Catan or Catan? I, it doesn't matter. Settlers of Catan, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, life, chess. <laughs> yeah. 
Chess is honestly probably the quickest one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Out of the big ones. I mean, oh, Ancala is usually Kala. a pretty quick one. Yeah. Ancala is pretty short. Mm-hmm. So who'd you, what'd you have for honorable mention? I had Sorry. Yep, Stratego, I did too. Stratego, Clue. I thought Clue would have been pretty topical because the Survivor That was your Survivor org. Yeah. Never really played that one either. Never played it. I played like fucking other games like it. Oh, Operation and Trouble. That was my list of notable list of the pre... I don't know what the fuck it's called. Mm-hmm. Notables, yeah. How about you? Um, <laughs> uh, for my honorable mentions, I had Battleship. Yep. Rock'em Cock'em Robots. Hell yeah. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I wanted to put that in there just because it always looked cool, but I'm pretty sure I've never fucking played that game. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to, but I've never played them. Yeah. Like those little plastic dudes that just beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, my buddy had one. Yeah. Like, I always wanted to play it, but uh, never did. I, I didn't think I could be honest if uh, you thought if, I, if I chose that one Yeah, because I didn't really play it. And uh, Guess Who was another one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a I, solid one. I, I almost put Guess Who on there, but, I mean, all of these games that I played, I genuinely enjoy besides Twister, but that one's just kind of an iconic, mm-hmm. silly one. Yeah. Where, again, you, you thought you were some hot shit trying to get some babes with it, and <laughs> instead of fucking <laughs> mouthful of your friend's balls. <laughs> exactly. So. Yeah. All right. So, tell the viewers one more time what your list is, one through six, Bert. Yeah, one to six. I got Monopoly. Chess, Mancala, Scrabble, The Game of Life, and Settlers of Catan. And then I, the winner, <laughs> from one to six, oh, have dang, Uno, dang. Checkers, Cards Against Humanity, Connect Four, Twister, and Jenga. Let us know who you think won. We should have a poll up. We should have comments open for you to let us know who won that draft. Mm -hmm. And uh, the nice things about these lists is they're completely subjective. It's pretty fucking hard to argue one point or the other because these are just games that we like. And then sometimes I'll just choose things just because they're popular and people might pick that a little bit more. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, it all depends. But all in all, I think we picked a pretty fucking generic list. There was nothing that was so too insane yeah. out there. Yeah, I think most of it was pretty generic. Bert and I were like, hey, Bert, if you choose poker, I'm going to finger you. <laughs> yeah. Poker and blackjack and slot. Blackjack and, and the swap machines and black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking queer. <laughs> You definitely can get pretty stupid with those. Like, I was thinking, like, Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune, because those are technically games, and I'm like, no, you can't. Fuck. It's like, Elvisopoly. Like, like you could have been Monopoly, and I could have been like, Elvisopoly, and Despicable Me Monopoly, and uh, Fortniteopoly. Yes. But yeah, let us know who you think won. Some more of you voted in the last one, so please Hell fucking yeah. tap it with your cock. I don't care. Just vote. Mm-hmm. I don't even care if I lose. Just fucking vote. Fuck it. You're better showing, guys. What the hell is this embarrassing? It's right there. Yeah. Don't hurt our feelings more than you already have. But other <laughs> yeah. than that, that finishes up this episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. Don't you forget, we're just trying to bring a little bit of the family element to the podcast world, and it's just comedy at the end of the day. Like Kevin Hart says, calm down, pussies. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if he says that, but he does say don't beat his ass after the show because it's, it's just jokes, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Just have some fun. Yeah, don't be a pussy like Bert. But other than that, Please. that wasn't a comedy thing. That's genuine. That's Bert real. Is a fucking gash. <laughs> yeah. I hate Bert. Darn. And we'll be back next week like we always are. Hell yeah. For 186. Yeah, 186. But until then, thank you for vibing with your cousins. We'll see all you lovely people in the next EP. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. up there doggy and Bert. They had to be something important to where little kids couldn't see them bang. Yeah, they're brother and sister. Okay! <laughs> Not like stepbrother or anything, no. right? Oh, man! No.